It's Barn Friday, y'all. We got 11 houses to look at today, so let's get on to the first one. First property here. We've been here a couple times. Condo complex, two units, or two buildings, I should call it. But it's a two bedroom, one and three quarter baths, 938 square feet. Just take a look inside. All right, just walk inside the property to my right. You have your kitchen, granite countertops, shaker style cabinets. These cabinets actually can be painted because they are the same style as the white ones. Stainless steel appliances. Over here is your washer and dryer, and also your water heater. Moving along. Coat closet here, right by the front door. To my right is your dining room. To my left right here, straight ahead, is your living space. And this is on the ground level, so you have a large patio and you have a storage there. Corner wood burning fireplace. Here, I believe this is another, looks like a little linen closet or it could be your pantry. Bedroom number one here. Here's your pantry. Or linen, sorry. Full bath. Let's see, they updated the, the vanity here, but. They did not update the tile and the shower that actually can be uh, painted enamel into white so it makes it nice and bright again. Flowing into your primary bedroom, you do have a slider off of this one as well. Here's your vanity. You have a closet on this side and you also have a small closet on this side. And last but not least, you have your stand-up shower. And of course your toilet. So if anyone's interested in this property, it's a two bedroom, one and three quarter baths, 938 square foot home built in 1981 with HOA dues of $396 a month, going for $339 in the Renton area. On to the next one, guys. All right, we're at our next property here. This one's a three bedroom, two and a half baths, 2120 square feet. Let's take a look inside. All right, we just walked inside the property and it is a split level. I'm gonna go up to the upper floor first. Go Cougs. So here we have the living space and you have these big picture windows along this whole front of the house. Wood burning fireplace there. Wow, this is actually a pretty nice size living area. Here's your dining room that has a huge picture window that goes out to your backyard, which I can't get out of, but does have a basketball hoop there and a storage. Moving along into your kitchen, and this kitchen definitely needs a remodel. Check out these cabinets in the kitchen. They're in good condition, it just is old. <clears throat> And then here's your breakfast nook. So look at all this wasted space here. I would definitely just knock, blow this whole area out and make this kitchen huge. Here is your pantry there. And then we're going back into the hallway. And this is going down towards the bedrooms. So your coat closet there linen closet here is your full bath bedroom number one facing the street decent sized bedroom bedroom number two also facing the street here 
Here is the primary bedroom. This one faces the back of the home. And here's your primary bath. So you got a small shower and you have your sink and toilet there. So moving along, we're gonna go head down to the lower level. And to my right, here is your garage. Decent sized garage here. This is the interesting corridor. So over here, you have your washer and dryer, some storage, and then another three quarter bath back in this back corner here. Whoa, this is scary, like a hotel, motel I mean. Motel 6. And then there's a door that goes here. And it's your family room with this lovely red carpet. But then the door is there as well. So you have two ways to get to this family room. I would definitely tear this all out and refresh it. I believe this is under stair storage. It is. There it is. And yeah, that's it. So if anyone's interested in this property, it's a three bedrooms, two and a half baths, 2120 square foot home built in 1963, going for $719,950 in the Brentmore area. On to the next one, guys. All right, we're at our next property here. This one's a four bedroom, three full baths, 2210 square feet. Let's take a look inside. All right, just walked inside the property and we got another split level here but reversed. So let's go up the stairs to the right. Got a nice little planner in there. And welcome to this giant living space. We got nice vaulted ceilings here. Head over to the kitchen. As you can see you have granite countertops, very expansive granite on the walls and also on the counters. Tons of cabinetry going along the whole way here, and then flowing over to your dining space with this very gaudy looking chandelier, and all these windows here. And you do have Lake Washington views. Check that out. Wood burning fireplace. You have a deck on the front of the home. And as you see, you do have expansive Lake Washington views, tons of territorial views. You can see over there, almost top golf below those trees there and up into the Rin Highlands. Moving along to the opposite side. You have a covered patio here. Great for entertaining during those rainy seasons. And also a deck. I believe that side opens up over there. But continuing on down the hallway. To my left, here is your full bath. Very sparkly countertops, shiny tile below, and then you have a tiled in tub. Across from that, you have bedroom number one that faces the back of the home. Bedroom number two also faces the back of the home. This one's a little darker. And then here is your primary bedroom here. So this one is a pretty large bedroom. As you can see, you got window space in the front which brings in a natural light. And then you also have your three quarter bath back here as well with this big window as well that has that natural light and privacy screen. Now we're gonna head down to the lower level. 
and see what the lower level has to offer. Definitely would change out these doors to do something with some windows in it to give it more that more modern natural light feel. So to my right, you have a family room here. Whoa, I think, and wood, and that was a wood burning fireplace, I believe, and they converted it to an electric. Going down the hallway, under stair storage, here is another room, not sure what this room is for. And here is your garage, but you have a door here as well. So they put a door there and they put a door here. So I'm not sure if this was supposed to be a storage or what. Confusing. Moving along, here is another bathroom, three quarter bath and your shower tucked into there. Kind of creepy, but it is what it is. And last but not least, your washer and dryer. So if anyone's interested in this property, it's a four bedroom, which actually it's three because there's no window there. Three full baths, 2120 square foot home, built in 1965, going for 839 in the Bryn Mawr area. On to the next one, guys. All right, we're at our next property here. This one's a three bedroom, one full bath. 1310 square feet. Let's take a look inside. All right, just walk inside the property and to my right, you have your coat closet. To the left, you're welcome to your living space. I think these are original hardwood floors. You do have these big picture windows in the front of the home. Cast iron wood burning fireplace, built in shelving here with some cabinetry. Flowing into your dining area. And also your kitchen, as you see they have painted their kitchen red. Tile countertops, and you have a mixture of black and silver, uh, stainless steel, not silver, appliances. Out back, you have parking for RV. Check that big old thing out over there, oh my gosh. And you have a two car garage. I wonder if the RV does come with the home. That is a question. Moving along over here, you have your water heater and then your washer and dryer and this soaking sink. Huge contraption there. Headed down the hallway. Here's bedroom number one. Got a closet and some built-ins as well. Over here is your full bath. And you have jetted tubs. You have access to outside from your bathroom to a deck. Interesting. And a single vanity. This is also connected to your primary bedroom. So it is called a Dutch bathroom there. So here's your primary bedroom. Again, closets and also built-in drawers. And then here is bedroom number three, closets and built-in drawers. So if anyone's interested in this property, it's a three bedroom, one bath, 1310 square foot home, built in 1950. Going for 560 in the Skyway area. On to the next one, guys. All right, we're at our next property here. This one's a four bedroom, two and three quarter baths, 2,500 square feet. Let's take a look inside. All right, just walked inside the property here and you're welcome to this nice big atrium with these teal windows. To my left and left again, you have a three quarter bath. Under stair storage there. I love this side window that brings in some natural light in the hallway. Moving along. You got your garage there. 
And then this is an actual bedroom. This is the fourth bedroom, but they also can be used as an office. Dining area. Here's your living area. And you do have a gas fireplace. This is in the corner of the neighborhood, so you do have a lot of space here. This is a huge window. Kind of a triangle style backyard. Well manicured. Then moving along into your kitchen, you have stainless steel appliances, shaker style cabinets, the darker color. And these are, these look like they're quartz, but they could be granite countertops. Pantry there. And then we're going to go upstairs. And at the top of the stairs, you do have your laundry that faces the street and a soaking sink. Nothing behind there, just checking because there is, okay, this is the furnace, which it is. Family room or bonus area. Great for those nights where you just don't wanna go downstairs. Over here is your full bath with dual vanity. Here is bedroom number two. Looks like it's a kid's bedroom with the forest theme there. Bedroom number three, this one faces the side of the home, which is actually a church over there, church parking lot. Linen closet, and then your primary bedroom here. Huge primary bedroom, check this out. Going into your primary bath, dual vanity, got a soaking tub, shower, walk-in closet, and of course your water closet. So if anyone's interested in this property, it's a four bedroom, two and three quarter baths, 2,500 square foot home built in 2014, going for 999, $950, basically a million dollars. In the Bryn Mawr area, on to the next one guys. All right, we're at our next property here. As you see this one, looks like it's a lot of overgrown stuff going on here. But it's a four bedroom, one and a half baths, 1850 square feet. Let's take a look inside. All right, just walk inside the property and you're welcome into this atrium here. Got your coat closet there. To my right is your living space. You got a wood burning fireplace there. They got it duct taped. That's not safe at all. Lake Washington views. This is definitely the selling point. You do sit up high, so you get to see a lot going on there. We're gonna go on the opposite side over here. Flowing into your kitchen. Nice little breakfast nook here. Blue sink. And that actually actually has a high end range there, back in the day. Sunroom over here that goes out to your deck and also your backyard. This looks like a coat closet. To my left is bedroom number one, decent sized bedroom. We'll go upstairs in a minute. Nice little built in area here. Here is your full bath. Bedroom number two. And then we're gonna go upstairs. Looks like they had an estate sale there. Something was going on there that wasn't connected. Over here is bedroom number three. 
This is a decent sized bedroom and you have this nice little nook area here. We actually can change this into like a walk-in closet. Additional storage. I believe this goes to the attic space. Yep. Over here is your half bath. Here is bedroom number four. And this one also has a little walk-in closet. And then there's a basement level too, so let's check that out. Oh, it's getting a little dark down here. Scary. Ooh, it's dark. Can't see. All right. So now we're in the basement level, and this is all unfinished. But what's interesting is, is it has a fireplace, so it had to be finished at one point, and there's an outlet there. So definitely additional square footage that can be added to this home as well. Your washer and dryer down here, and then you also have this pantry, storage pantry down below. So, if anyone's interested in this property, it's a four bedroom, one and a half bath, 1850 finished square feet, built in 1947, still looks like it's from 1947, going for 799,950. In the Lake Ridge area, on to the next one, guys. All right, we're at our next property here. This one's a two bedroom, one and a half baths, 1620 square feet. Let's take a look inside. All right, just walked inside the property here and you're welcome into, I think this is your dining area and then your living area. To my left is bedroom number one. Moving along. Breakfast nook here. Here's your kitchen. It's a galley style kitchen. Stainless steel appliances, shaker style cabinets, and quartz countertops. Over here is bedroom number two. And then here is your, is this a, oh, there we go. Here's your full bath. And then, those tight corridors over here. Jeez. Oh, there is a basement level, so we're going to take a look at that. All right, and we went downstairs here, and it's actually a finished space. So downstairs you have like a little family area. Here's your dryer and your washer, and there's your little half bath right there. And then moving along down this, oh, ouch. <laughs> Ceilings are actually not the right height. I hit my head. <laughs> Blooper, uh, you have this area right here that is more like a hallway. And then, wow, they made a bedroom down here. So, not sure if this is actual right ceiling height, but they did finish it up and you could make this a room. So, I guess it's a three bedroom, but the windows are not egress, so they cannot escape if there was a fire. So we're not gonna call this a room, we're just gonna call it a family room. And then what do we have right here? Try not to hit my head again. There's the furnace. He's got all these tubes up here. This is what I hit my head on right here. So if anyone's interested in this property, it's a two bedroom, one and a half bath, 1620 square foot home, built in 1903, going for 650 in the Upper Rainer Beach area. On to the next one, guys. All right, we're at our next property here. This one's a five bedrooms. Two and a half baths, 1742 square feet. Let's take a look inside. All right, just walk inside the property here and you are welcome into the living space. Got stairs to go up there, but we're gonna go over here. Guessing this is the dining room here, flowing into your kitchen. 
Where is your light switch for your kitchen? Is this it? Here we go. Here's your kitchen. Shaker style cabinets, quartz countertops. This is your backyard. Faces the street. Washer and dryer there. Two washers. Close this door. Oops. And moving along. We're going to go up the stairs here. And to my left, that looks like a dryer outlet. Here is a full bath. This is not a bedroom. It's like an office because there's no closet. Over here is locked. Not sure what's in there. Here's another half bath. Interesting. This one's a bedroom. So bedroom number one. Here's bedroom number two. And then let's see if this code works. So now we're gonna go over here and see this area. And this is another area. Airbnb, I believe, looks like one. So welcome to your living space here. All the lights are all over here. There we go. And then another shaker style cabinets again. White appliances. What do we got here? Oh, here's your full bath. Nope, three quarter baths. And then over here, this is what? Oh, that's the door that came downstairs to here. Interesting. And then here is the bedroom. So this one's only a one bedroom. Very confusing. I've only seen three of the five bedrooms. But if anyone's interested in this crazy house, it's a five bedroom. I've only seen three of them. Two and a half baths, 1740 square foot home, built in 1950, going for 750,000. In the upper inner beach area. On to the next one, guys. All right, we're at our next property here. This one's a two bedroom, one and a half baths, 2560 square feet. Let's take a look inside. All right, just walk inside the property and you have this enclosed patio before you go actually inside the home. And I believe you welcome into your dining area right when you first walk in, or they just have chandeliers everywhere. So this is your dining area, confusing. Coat closet there with French doors. I'm guessing this is your living room. And then, whoa, this kitchen is freaking huge. Why? Why so much kitchen, not enough living space? Check this out. Then going back down the hallway, back to the front door. More French doors, bypass. Here is your full bath. It's giving me a blue, a blue theme. There's no light, look at that. Over here, this can't be a bedroom because look at this, it opens up. Continuing on, you have a side entrance and you have this big family room back here that could have been an extension at one point. 
and then you have a half bath and check out this carpet in the bathroom disgusting gonna head upstairs and we got a scary clown here check him out that's creepy and upstairs we have this nook area a closet here and I believe here is bedroom number one at the very top of the home what a closet so they have their own corridor basically they can put a bathroom up here all this space now we're gonna head downstairs Continuing on downstairs. Sheesh. What do we got here? What's behind here? Water heater. There's this area. It's not a bedroom because there's no closet, so can't be considered that. Under stairs storage. Washer. Furnace. This is very cattywampus. And then, I don't even know what this door, where does this door go? Oh, this door goes outside to the side of the house. That's crazy. Uh-oh. Well, what I've seen is one bedroom. So I'm just gonna call it a one bedroom, one and a half baths, 2560 square foot home built in 1933 going for oh geez 624 950 in the upper rainer beach area on to the next one guys all right we're our next property here this one's a five bedroom one and three quarter baths 2320 square feet let's take a look inside all right just walk inside the property <clears throat> got your dining room with these big picture windows Living space with the wood burning fireplace. Kitchen with black stainless steel appliances, shaker style cabinets, and also quartz countertops. Moving along down the hallway to my right. That is your coat closet there. You have a deck that goes out back. Here is bedroom number one. And you do have a washer and dryer hookup inside of the closet. I'm guessing this was like a storage area before. linen closet there. Here's bedroom number two. Smaller bedroom. Full bath. The lights are connected to the fan, I apologize. And then here is bedroom number three. I believe this one would be considered the primary suite because you have his and hers or hers and hers or his and his closets. And then I believe there is a lower level. So we'll go downstairs. All right, so we're gonna go downstairs because it has a separate entry for the lower level. But while we're down here, you can see that there is uh, parking over there as well. So you have parking in the front and then you also have parking on the side So you can actually rent this lower level out So now we're headed we're downstairs And you basically have a whole nother living corridor down here So as you can see Turn these lights on there we go These are faux 
quartz countertops. And stainless steel appliances over here. You do have another wood burning fireplace there. Living space. Here's your washer and dryer. This is bedroom number three here. Really good natural light on this wind on this side over here. There's a coat closet. I would definitely change those out. Not like a cord in. Three quarter baths. Don't know where the light switch is. Oh, here it is. There it is. And then here is the fifth bedroom. And you have your water heater over here as well and furnace. So if anyone's interested in this property, it's a five bedroom, one and three quarter baths, 25 or 23, 20 square foot home built in 1966. But as you see, it has been updated going for 735 in the Skyway area. On to the next one, guys. All right, we're at our last property that is listed by me and renovated by me but it's a six bedroom five bathroom 3197 square feet let's take a look inside all right just walk inside the property and you're welcome into your dining area flowing into your living room you got a coat closet there electric fireplace huge kitchen check out this kitchen here Flat matte black counter or cabinets with the almond wood accent, huge island, stainless steel appliances, 48 inch range, pot filler. Moving along. Nice accent there. Here is your three quarter bath. That goes into your first bedroom. This bedroom faces the back of the home. Does have some privacy, which is nice. Next up is your office. Then we're gonna head upstairs. And at the top of the stairs, you have this nice big window bringing that natural light in. That's your linen closet. Here is your full bath, double vanity, and full tub. Bedroom number two. This bedroom has a peekaboo view of Lake Washington, which is nice. Moving along. Here's bedroom number three. Laundry. And then here is the primary bedroom with Lake Washington views. You can see the lake over there from a distance. Primary bath, dual vanity, Full shower and heated floors. Now we're going to head to the lower level. And on the lower level, to my right, you have your family room slash gym slash whatever you want to do with this area. Under stairs storage and tankless water heater. Here is your three quarter bath that is connected to this room. So easy, accessible to shower, 
or if you want to rent this out, it does have a door that does close in. And then on the opposite side, you got bedroom number one here, which I believe that is bedroom number five. Washer and dryer hookups there. Full bath as well. Dining area, kitchen. And also you have a living area with its own entrance. And last but not least, bedroom number six. So if anyone's interested in this property, it's a six bedroom, five bath, 3197 square foot home, built in 2024. That's when it was completed. Going for 1.499 million in the Upper Rainier Beach area. And that's it for Farm Friday this week. Thank <laughs> you.